I think Kyle knows exactly what we talked about it earlier. Kyle is concerned with winning, but he's also majorly concerned with survival. And part of the way he survives is never marrying himself to a quarterback. Uh, he never does, never has. Do you think there, Kyle in certain ways will undercut Brock this year um, to give him options uh, other than marry himself to Brock long term? Do I think Kyle will undercut Brock? Uh, no, I, I, I'm looking for Brock to almost kind of undercut Kyle. Um, I think that Brock's consistency um, and his kind of like it, like why Brock is a starting quarterback in the NFL, is that Brock has shown the an ability to retain a lot of information on the fly while he play, while he plays. His processing ability is next level. Um, and it's only going to get better as he as he gets more times um, at bat. Um, and my, my thing about that is is that uh, Brock kind of <laughs> Brock was able to do one to carry one feet over that I haven't seen many quarterbacks be able to do, and that's lose a big game in the Super Bowl and not be thrown under the bus by Kyle Shanahan. Like in order for you to play so play well enough for people to kind of look over the quarterback and still lose and still kind of look at Kyle and say, well, what were you doing on offense? Cause it wasn't Brock this time. I think that that's Brock's special power um, where he knows how to ingest exactly what Kyle is giving him. But at times, you know, you can only run the plays that are that, that you're given. Um, Kyle has left Brock out there to dry a couple of times. If you, you want to talk about undercutting and I think it's going to be, it's made him stronger. I think Kyle left Brock out to dry in the Cincinnati game. I think he left him out to dry against the Minnesota game. Um, I think that Kyle didn't do much for him um, on a lot of different games down the stretch in the Baltimore game. He kept pushing the ball down the field when we got away from the run game. And the only reason why is because Kyle was running scared. He got up against a team that didn't give a damn about his one minus five offensive line and they was whooping that ass and what did he do he kept passing the ball because he couldn't run anymore don't you find that funny that when we get into bad moments in games we don't line up and run the ball and rely on our offensive line what do we do we pass mm -hmm. Kyle wants to just get the ball out there because he wants something where on film it can say hey there goes that open receiver there goes that beautiful play that you missed but that doesn't mean that it should be ran within the context of what's going on right now. And that definitely doesn't mean that the strongest players of your team during the strongest moments of your game need to be the farthest away from the football. Ergo going five wide on third downs. But I digress. Brock has still been able to show consistency even through those low moments. I think as he gets stronger, it's going to be more and more evident that Kyle is the issue here. All right. And I think that Kyle can't undercut Brock because if that was the case, it would have happened by now. The kid came in. He's not everything you want him to be, which nobody is. But don't look now. But Brock still has been lights out since he's got here. He's come in here and done his job. And that's something that C.J. Beathard couldn't do. Nick Mullins couldn't do. Trey Lance damn sure couldn't do. And Jimmy Garoppolo couldn't even survive Kyle because his body would fall apart. He couldn't stay healthy. So... Uh, I think Brock's going to expose Kyle. Here's how I think Kyle will undercut Brock. I think Kyle's looking at this IU situation and projecting it forward to Purdy and seeing like, damn, you know, if I don't manage this, we're going to have no choice but to give this guy $60 million a year next year. And that's not what I want to do. So what I can do is continue to run the hell out of the ball, be at the bottom of the league in pass attempts per game, and um, in a key loss this season, I can sort of blame him for it, as I've been known to do. I haven't really blamed Brock yet, but I can blame Brock for a key loss. I can keep the pass attempts low. And then when it's finally time to present an offer for a uh, contract extension, mm -hmm. I can use the lack of pass attempts against him, just as I use the lack of targets for Ayuk against him, and offer a very generous extension of four years, 180. That's $45 million a year. That's the exact same deal that Kirk Cousins got from the Falcons. And I can imply, like, look, I think you're really good, but not as good as Joe Burrow and Trevor Lawrence and all these young hotshot quarterbacks who are getting these incredible deals. I think you're as good as Kirk Cousins. 
And if you don't like that, then we can't come to a deal. I think that's what's going to happen. $45 million a year tops for Brock. I love the way how you like get to like the obvious thing that we would probably say on the phone. Like, <laughs> because that is the, I mean, yes. And, and again, like the leverage is like, oh, you don't want 20, uh, 20, uh, $45 million a year? Cool. Then go make $60 million somewhere else and we'll go get Kirk Cousins, who's making $45 million a year. Why should we pay more for you than Kirk Cousins? Are you better than Kirk in Kyle's eyes? I don't think so. I hate the fact that you're right. It, I mean, yeah. I heard that Kyle and Kirk talk on the phone every day. I don't know if that's true, but I heard they do. I heard that too. Yeah. So, you, I mean, yeah. look, does he like Rob? Absolutely. Does he yeah. like him more than Kirk? I don't know. So don't that's know. that's how this is going to go down, Brock. Um, they, they love you, but not that much. And that's what's going to be the offer. And it's going to be 15 million less than what you think you're worth. And it's going to get very interesting. He's going to do it. I mean, he's he, Brock doesn't. I mean, who does have Brock have in the NFL that's really going to protect him from something like that? Usually sometimes no players have. Yeah, exactly. There's nobody. And that, then you know, like you're not seen as a top level quarterback if you're making mid money. It's like, okay, well, you're still a product of the system and your team, your own team feels that way. It's going to be yeah. a big slap in the face because they've been boosting him up like, oh, you think he's a system quarterback? Well, the offer is going to say system quarterback. You think they're going to Kurt Warner Brock? You know how like they Kurt Warner Brock? I mean, you know how they Kurt Warner them? Like, Kurt, I, at one point, Kirk was like legit one of the best quarterbacks in the league. But because yeah. of his pedigree and where he came from, yeah. people would always like play Kirk down. Like, ah, yeah. oh, it's Kirk. Like, great guy, though. Great guy. Yeah. But he's no yeah. Montana. He's no Marino. He's not, it's just a great guy, but he's not. Yeah, and that's what they're doing with him. It's so patronizing. He's such a good quarterback. He's so underrated. But when it's time to actually get to the negotiating table, like, you don't actually think you're as good as. As Aaron Rodgers do, you don't actually yeah. think you're as good as Jared Goff, do you? Like, yeah, they they make a lot of money, but you don't actually think you're as good as Trevor Lawrence, do you? Like, I really? You would much rather have Trevor Lawrence than you? <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah, it's like Brock, we could go to the know, Super Bowl twenty five quarterbacks. Like, we don't actually think that much of you that you have around you, son. You understand yeah. the team that you're on. You know that comes from somewhere. Yeah. Um, you know, you want to be, you know, you and also, and you know what's even crazier? They may get. I don't know, man. But they may get Brock on the leader tip. They may say, you know, psh, you know, she's supposed to be a leader, man. You know, we kind of want this thing to get done. You know, in order for us to pay you, how do you think we're going to be able to keep Trent around? You know, Trent's 30, Trent's 47, you know, three more years. He'll have his 50th birthday. Why? How long do you think we want Trent to stay around? It's like, you know, I, I, I can see them. I could see them like gaslighting him into – thinking that he needs the Niners, not the other way around. Um, but for, if, if they, I'll pull you like this. I'll put it like this. There's only one guy that a, was able to get exactly what he wanted to the T, and that is Nick Bosa. Uh, but if they pull this off with Brock, nobody's safe. If they could do this with their quarterback, nobody's safe as far as hey, contract well, is concerned. You know my theory that Chris Sims is sort of like Kyle's unofficial mouthpiece you know it's yeah. like they have each other's initials tattooed like they kind of think alike and what was chris what, what did chris sim say about the super bowl loss he said that if brock was better like sure he's good but if he really was that top level quarterback they would have won they would have so won. they put it on brock they did and i'm telling you they're gonna do that this year it's like yeah you're good but not more than 45 million dollars a year good and um well, it's gonna be interesting when two of them more than that. That's the thing about having guys who were born on third base and hit a triple. You know what I mean? Like Chris Sims, he had like the best, he had the best of the best football experience. It was average, bro. Like average at best. Kyle wasn't even average. And this is what you get when you get these guys where they were around a high level of football for a very long time and they've become jaded into really looking at what real talent takes and what it really is. Like, it's kind of like the fact that they could say, but you weren't really that good almost comes from the inadequacies of when they played, when they were told they weren't that good. It's like, dude, call a better game. Like, what are you yeah, talking how, about? How long have you been waiting to, to pay that one forward? 